Waited. We are on our way to Kessigat. You can see the buildings along the way. Beautiful old buildings. Chaitanya Chandramritam. 
very nice and high class granthas. So, Prabhupada, Srila Tirtha Maharaj, he also explained about Radhara Sudhanidhi. Radhara Sudhanidhi, you know this Radhara Sudhanidhi is a high class grantha. Pradhananda Saraswati Pad, once time he was glorified about Srimati Radhika. In the meantime, Krishna appeared and Krishna told to Radhara, told to Pradhananda Saraswati Pad, oh Saraswati, Saraswati, Pradhananda Saraswati, always you are glorified to Srimati Radhika. So glorify something about me. But that time Pradhananda Saraswati Pad, he told to Krishna, that means chastised to Krishna, oh you are black. Oh, what I will explain about you? Now I am explaining about my mistress, Srimati Radhika. Jihau me, my tongue always glorify Srimati Radhika. My, all the limbs, all the sense of my body always engaged in the glorify about Srimati Radhika. But again and again, Krishna also told to Pravadhan, oh, you also glorify about something. That time also he glorified different Kafala Radha and Krishna and many slokas also he explained about Radha Krishna's Lila. So Prabhuji also explained very nice slokas from <coughs> Radha Ras Sudhanidhi. Jo Brahma Sukha Narada Bhishma Lakshi Ralakita Nasa Sa Purusha Shatasa Shaktava Sukhna Churna Anant Shakti Tam Radhika Channa Renu Anus Marami in this slope, Pravadananda Saraswati Pad also glorify about only the food dust of Srimati Radhika. Jo Brahma Sukha Narada Bhishma Lakshay Ralakita Nasa Sa Purusha Shatasa Brahma Seva Narada and many elevated Vaishnav they could not glorify about Srimati Radhika they glorify about Krishna because Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead in by the trans, sometimes they can say of his lotus feet. Not his lotus feet. Jatrubi samadhi su vidhi rupi pasuti natavo nakhakra morichim. Brahma, in, the, in his trance, sometimes he also realized only his, the effulgence of his toenails. Ar Srimati Radhika, this is a high level. Krishna also always praying to lotus feet of Srimuti Radhika. So saying this was Srimuti Radhika, she is very high level. How will you glorify of Srimuti Radhika? So Prabhadananda Saraswati Pad, in this verse, explain, Tam Charna, I only, to glorify Srimuti Radhika, where Srimuti Radhika? She is standing by far away. And because Srimuti Radhika, she very quickly to Vasibhutra means to... But Srimati Radhika, she controls control Srimati Radhika by her prem. Nobody can control to Krishna. But Srimati Radhika, only by her prem, she controls to Krishna. Lakshmi, Sattabhama, Rukmini, they could not control to Krishna. Even Chandra, Chandra Boli, Control something, but not fully control, com not completely control to Krishna. But Srimati Radhika, by her prem, she control to Krishna. Nirantaram vasikrita pratiti nanna nannane kadakari sachi mang kripa kataksha bhajanam. We all say every day to glorify this verse. Srimati Radhika, by her prem, what types of prem? There is called the Madanakha Mahabhav. Only by this Madhavakha Mahabhav, Srimati Radhika, she controlled to Krishna. So Srimati Radhika, she high level things. So Prabhuji also, many slokas also glorify about Pravadananda Saraswati. And she, Pravadananda Saraswati also glorify about Navadip Dham Parikrama and Navadip Dham Mahima. Glory about Navadip Dham. There is no difference between Navadip Dham and Vrindavan. Also, Pravadananda Saraswati Pad, he glorified one verse in his Navadip Satakam. 
Anadido Novono, Brindavano, Eboti, Naradido Novono, Brindavano, Ebot, Brajo Eboturi, Ar Aradido Dijosuto, Brajo Nagurti, Ar Naradido Brajo Naradito, Dijosuto, No Brajo Naporihoto. Once not take shelter, Lotus Feet of. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu never he attained Brajanagar Krishna. One should take shelter, lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he should must be attained Brajanagar Krishna. One should take shelter, lotus feet of Navadiv Dham, he, he must be attained in Brajadham. And if not take shelter, lotus feet of Navadiv Dham, he will never attain in Brindavan Dham. The conclusion of this verse, first, Take shelter, lotus feet of Navadiv Dham. By the causeless mercy of Navadiv Dham, you must be attended to Vrindavan Dham. So, Pravadhananda Saraswati Pad, he completely surrendered lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. By the causeless mercy of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and we should realize the Radha Krishna Tattva. And also by the causeless mercy of Nityananda Prabhu, we can realize the different couple Radha and Krishna. Arkabi Nitai Chalir, Koruna Hoibe, Sangsar, Basana Mor, Kabetu Chobi, Bishoi Charia Kobe, Sutta Vimon, Kobe Hamos, Herbo, Sirvin Labon, by the Kosli's Marcy of Nitan the Prabhu and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And we can see the transcendental dham of Vrindavan Navati with dham. So Pradhananda Saraswati Path, he also glorified many things about Radha Krishna. And he also explained one thing about Bill Mangal Thakur. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu was staying in Gambira, and that time he also completely wielded for Krishna. And as like separation mood of Srimati Radhika, Radhika Arabhav Jaiche Uddha Darsane Seimata Rahe Prabhu Ratri Dine. Same mood of Srimati Radhika separation mood, and Chaitanya Mahaprabhu always crying and crying. And that time, only two persons, they also gave consolation. Sarvadamadar and Rai Ramananda. Rai Ramananda, sometimes he quoted of his own Natakam, Jagannath Vallo Natakam, Slok, and Sarvadamadar also he glorified about Simad Bhagavatam's many Slok, and also Vidyapati Chandidas, many Kirtans. And Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and many times also glorify the Billa Mangals, <coughs> Billa Mangals, Billa Mangals, Billa Mangals, Mangals, that's called the Krishna Karnamrit. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu already recited these things. When Chaitanya Mahaprabhu traveled to South India, he also brought two things our Gaudiya Sampradaya and one Rasgrantha and one Tattva Siddhanta Grantha. What Tattva Siddhanta Grantha that is called Brahma Sangeeta. Brahma Sangeeta is the fundamental of our Gaudiya Vaishnava Siddhanta in India. Isra Parama Krishna Sachidananda Vigra Anadira Adi Govinda Sarva Karana Karana. Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead and explain these things. Brahma glorify about Krishna. And she others Chaitanya Mahaprabhu also brought one grantha that is called Villa Mangal's grantha that is Krishna Karnamrita. Krishna, his, this name is very nice, sweet names, Krishna Karnamrita. When being a Villa Mangal glorify about this slokas, many slokas, and Krishna always is eager to also hearing this verse. That means always he is drinking the nectar. So name is called Krishna Karnamrita. When Billa Mangal, he was kicked out by her beloved because by, her, by his previous first previous sanskar, he attached in one prostitute lady. She also once time, anyhow also rebuked to him. And that time Billa Mangal, he also gave up her and Billa Mangal, now a Billa Mangal went towards Vrindavan. When he was going Vrindavan, he, he was reciting this bhars, all the slokas of Krishna Karnamritam. And Krishna also fallen of his footsteps. And Krishna also going, Krishna also 
on his hearing of his this slopes with sweet verse in this prabhuji also reciting one verse he devo he daito he bhuvanai ko bandhu he krishna he chapla he korunai ko sindhu he nath he ramana he nayana bhi ramo ha ha padanu bhaktasmi padam disur me very nice and high class this verse simati radhika this is verse actual simati radhika she is quoting this verse when krishna chandra left to vrindavan that time simati radhika she was feeling separation of shrimati eh, krishna chandra and that time he also reciting the verse many more seen there bhavatpati bhav sandhi bhav saballa bhav santi many more also in, in this verse in krishna chaitanya charitamrutam krishna das kaviraj also explained in vividly in his bengali poya very nicely so belong when he was going in that the path and that time he also one time at us one ladies and that time he was thinking oh again my eyes also going th- that the ladies so that time one lady she came to take him some water and she he <coughs> bilu mangal also followed her footsteps and bilu bilu mangal came in her house and also told to her oh you give me of your what your pain your pain but the lady she was very simple she gave the hair of her hair pain and bilu mangal at that time he also was yes and also this thing at that time bilu mangal now completely blind and bilu mangal now running towards the vrindavan and chanting this slow of this all the krishna karma and sweet bhars and krishna also playing and even krishna also gets his hand and at that time also saying these things prabhu ji also nicely explain one thing because now time is short so i am saying very shortly so that time when bilavan bilavan was going and <coughs> in the meantime krishna also disappeared and left his hand that time bilavan he realized oh this is the hand of krishna that time bilavan also saying one verse hastam utkichha oh you you should go away from my hand but you never go away from my heart because devotee they also always bind to krishna by in their heart so bilavan also saying this verse hastam utkittam jati jati kim bala jadi ए एकदम जदी मिल जायसी पर पुरुष अंगना में आई फॉरगेट दिस स्लोक मेन टाइम्स टू गुड दे एक्सप्लेन दिस भार्स इन हियर ओ आई एम थिंकिंग यू आर वेरी स्ट्रांग पर्सन इफ यू गो आउट फ्रॉम माय हार्ट यू गो आउट नो हार्म यू गो आउट फ्रॉम माय हैंड्स नो हार्म बट इफ यू गो आउट फ्रॉम माय हार्ट आई एम थिंकिंग यू आर वेरी स्ट्रांग पर्सन because devotee they bind the lock by he bind his quarsif in his heart by his bhakti so krishna also saying naham vasami vaikunti nacha jagna hridaye cha ma bhakta chitra gayanti tatra tishthami narado this lord also told this bhars o narad always i am staying in her her my devotee glorify of my sweet past times and always i am taking rest in the heart of the devotee so krishna always staying in his heart so bilamangal also got at this bhars and then when bilamangal was going towards vrindavan now he is completely blind and that time shrimati radhika and her sakhi also going to javot to nandoga re nandoga and that time also say oh krishna also saying oh, oh you should not go in that place oh maybe you will be there because this black person is this hey, this person is ka and that time shrimati radhika told oh no how what will do the black person that means <coughs> oh if what is it something oh if he gets oh i will attend this thing so shrimati radhika that means here krishna indicates to bilamanga oh he should touch the lotus feet of shrimati radhika without the 
भजन और श्रीमती राधिका यू नेफा एट इन वृंदावन सो इफ यू एंटर इन वृंदावन राधे 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 जय 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 श्री राधे 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 जय 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 श्री
काली जैसे ही निरापद स्थान थे आश्रय निकल से काली विषय में चार दिखे समस्त गाज पाला जा सब जर्जरित सब पूरे छाई गुतु ये कदम्ब गाजी बेचे आज अमर गाज We have come to this very sacred place. This is called Kaliyarhat. In this place, one yogi, Rishi, his name was Sobari Rishi. He was doing tapasya here in one um, part of Jamuna, which had been separated from the rest of the river. He was meditating under water for many, many thousands of years. One day, Garud came here. The eagle carrier of Lord Narayan came here and he caught one fish. So when he took this fish, then Subhari Rishi, he became so angry and he cursed Garuda. If you come here again or you will die. Because he was thinking, I am the friend of all this, these fish and I will uh, protect them. But what was the result of this? This was a great Vaishnava Aparad. After some time, he material desires in his heart they had not gone away by any yoga, tapasya, karma, jnana or anything. The material desires within the heart, they can never go away. They can only be uh, dispelled by bhakti, shuddha bhakti. So after some time, some fish, his friends, the fish, who he was trying to help, he saw two fish enjoying and by seeing them, the desire for uh, enjoyment came in his heart and he left the water and went to the palace of Mandata King Mandata and there he requested to marry his 50 daughters. So, and in his endeavor to help the fish, he never helped them at all. Because by giving this curse to Garuda and saying that, oh you cannot come here. Then when Kalyanag was afraid of Garuda, Kalyanag came here. Because he knew Garuda cannot come here. So when he came here, he made all the place poisonous. And in this way, the entire community of fish was wiped out. All were killed. So, in this place, when Kaliya was here, Krishna, he came here and it was so poisonous. So many, all the animals died, even any birds flying over, they would fall from the sky and die from the poison coming up from Kaliya. So Krishna came here and he climbed upon this tree. And then, jumping from this tree, he came into the water and made such a big disturbance that Kaliya became angry and he came to fight with Krishna. So, the Kaliya Nag, he wrapped Krishna in his coils and was trying to crush, crush him. At that time, there were many inauspicious omens, meteors falling from the sky, and the bridge basses feeling trembling in their bodies. And seeing so many inauspicious omens, they immediately thought, Krishna must be in danger. And all the bridge basses, they came running to this place. And they were standing here on the bank of Jamuna and seeing how Krishna was held tightly in the coils of Kaliya. At that time, they were overwhelmed with distress. Oh, what will happen to our Krishna? They wanted to enter into the water and to try to save him, but they would be killed by entering into the poison. So Baldev was there and he knows that Kaliya cannot give any harm to Krishna. So Baldev, he stopped all the bridge buses. Don't go in the water. So being unable to try to help Krishna, all the bridge buses, they were overwhelmed with anxiety and they fainted, feeling the se great separation. Then when their separation moved and their love uh, for him was raised to a very high point, then Krishna broke free from the grip of Kaliya and began to dance on the head of the Kaliya serpent. 
So he danced there and he was kicking the heads of Kaliya until he began to vomit blood and his, all his bones were broken. At that time, the wives of Kaliya Nag, they began to offer many prayers to pacify Krishna. So most notably they have prayed, Kasyanu Bhavo Syana Deva Vidmahe Tavang Rinum Sparishadikaraha Yadva Vanchaya Silalana Charatapo Vihaya Kamam Suchiram Vidabata They're saying, I cannot understand how this serpent became so lucky, so fortunate to have the lotus feet of the Supreme Personality Godhead on his head. How is it possible to get the touch of this dust from his lotus feet? Even Lakshmi Devi, the original goddess, the goddess of fortune, she left Vaikuntha, she left Narayan, and she came to Belvan over here, and she's doing austerities for a very, very long time in order to get this foot dust, but she's not successful. Yet this angry serpent, whose behavior is so bad and character is so bad, he's taking the dust of Krishna, his Krishna's lotus feet upon his head. How is it possible? So, oh, there's a deep teaching in this. Because Kaliya was associated with his, his wives who were great devotees. Therefore, Krishna gave mercy to him. So, it may be that any devotee may not, not be so qualified. But if their guru is so qualified, and their association is so qualified, then it is sure that Krishna will bestow mercy upon them. So then Krishna, hearing the prayers of that uh, Nagapadnis, he became pacified and gave mercy to Kaliya. And he told him, now you should leave Vrindavan. But Kaliya, he didn't want to leave Vrindavan because he didn't want to leave this place. Because he thought, if I, as soon as I leave this place, then Guru may kill me. Because this is the only place where he will not come. So Krishna said, you don't worry, you can go to one place, it is called the Ramanic Dweep. And Guru will not give you any disturbance because you have my footprints on your head. You have my stamp on your head, so Guru will not give you any problems. So this pastime, a very beautiful pastime, so many teachings. First teaching, one should be very careful, don't make any Vaishnava Aparad. Like Subhari Rishi, he fell down and lost everything due to Vaishnava Aparad. Secondly, association. By associating with pure devotees, Krishna's mercy will come, otherwise not. Even if one is not so qualified, if one has a relationship with pure devotees, Krishna will give his mercy. This place of Krishna's pastime is also a place of ras. There's so much rasa in this pastime. Why is Krishna being held by the coils of Kaliya? Why is he performing this pastime? Only to renew the love of the bridge bases. Because when they see him in this very dangerous position, their love is going higher and higher and higher. And then when he's free from, he breaks out from there, then he comes and meets with him, them again. And such, it is as if Krishna is coming back from the dead. So in this way, their love goes very high. When Krishna was a small baby, he was makanchor, stealing butter. So prem, prem is like milk. And Krishna knows how to churn that love and make it very, very, very thick. And when it be became very thick, then he will taste. So in this way, by this pastime, Krishna has churned the hearts of all the bridge buses and made their love come to a very high stage. And then, coming back from Kaliya, then he's tasting. This place is also a place of Ras, because by Jogamaya, though Saka's parents and so many were here, they could not see. But by Jogamaya, Krishna called all the gopis. And he did Ras Lila also on the head of Kaliya Nag. So we are very fortunate to come to this place. I pray to the dust of this place that it can bestow some mercy upon me and engage me in the eternal servant of Guru, service of Guru and Vaishnavas. Now, Jitha Maharaj is going to chastise me for speaking for too long. So, please forgive me. Pancha Kalpatu Vasya Kripa Sindhu Vaya Vatya 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 Vatya
Thank you.
so he told that when Sri Sanatan Goswami he left his kingdom, he was Prime Minister Force and went to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. At that time he was having long beard and his clothes were totally tattered and torn. When he met Sri Goswami, he asked Chandrasekhar, he met with that at the house of Chandrasekhar, that please give him good clothes, arrange him to take a bath. When he took a bath and he asked for clothes, Chandrasekhar Prabhu gave him new clothes, new clothes he had started at home, but he said, no, no, please give me your old one. He <coughs> took one Kothi of
you see it from outside, no. It's a huge temple that was built 500 years ago. Arrivo! Jai Shri Radhe! Radhe Radhe! Sometimes 